All right, welcome to episode two of Factorio, and it's opening the next mission with tips and tricks. Other products made in furnace. The furnace can smelt stone bricks from stone. Oh, that didn't actually that actually hadn't come up yet. Uh, and steel from iron. The steel needs to be researched. Okay, that's important to learn. Two sides of belts, so they have two separate sides at once, which means oh, you could that means you could double use. Okay, you could use uh, belts for multiple purposes simultaneously. That's interesting. That could help you f uh, feed everything into one furnace location, then. The left, and left and right side of a transport belt can be used independently for different resources. Inserters put things on the distant part of the belt. So you can also change what part of a belt something's on. Oh, inserters, they mean the, the arms put them on the, on, on the distant side of the belt. Okay, that is important to know. Rebuilding. Stone furnace is going to be rebuilt by steel furnace. Uh, without the need to mine the first one first. A similar works for assembling machines, transport belts, inserter chests. It can be used to change direction of a transport belt. Electric network information, excuse me. That's new for me. Invoking left mouse button on the left... <laughs> Invoking left mouse button <laughs> on electric pole will open statistics on the electrical network it is connected to. Also, electricity exists, Don't, just so you know. Uh, invoking shift plus left mountain, mount, uh, mouse button will move the whole item stack. I figured that one out already, for, probably because of Minecraft. Uh, moreover, the transfer command it, is smart enough to figure out where to move the stack. For example, uh, performing a stack transfer on an iron axe in the main inventory will have it placed in the tool slot. That's good to know. Control plus left mountain, but mouse button will move all item stacks of the given type. Oh, that's interesting. That is good to know. To transfer old transfer belts from a wooden chest into the main inventory. Okay. Fast entity transfer. Okay, this is actually a surprising number of uh, tips and tricks. Maybe I should stop after a few. Invoking control plus left mountain button allows you to perform a transfer with the selected entity without opening its GUI. If the player's hand is empty, the transfer uh, happens from the entity into the player's inventory and vice versa when the player's hand, uh, hand is full. This can be useful in the early stages of the game in order to manage stone furnaces, burner mining drills, etc. Let's close that for now. So apparently I can do control to just grab everything from the entire pile. Let's see. It'll be interesting to see how comments work out. I haven't uploaded a single video of this yet, but uh, some friends of mine actually played this game and they used to stream it, and the community that fo follows this game actually came in. Let's see. I could really use some equipment from our crashed ship. If I had enough electricity, I could build a radar to locate the crash site. I have the electricity test set up almost ready. I just need some water from the lake. But yeah, apparently my some of my friends were streaming this game before, and they actually stopped streaming it and just played it completely for themselves at some point because the, uh, the, the larger community that likes this game was coming in and screaming at them for all their efficiency problems, and basically they, they just killed the thing they were watching, so if people come in from outside of my channel to watch this, I hope they don't, uh, they realize that if they do like watching it at all, they shouldn't, uh, ruin the whole thing by making it so that I don't, someone doesn't want to do the thing anymore. Honestly, I would just read I would just stop reading comments if it stopped getting if you guys started being shitty about it. Uh, build an offshore pump connected to boilers on a water ground station. Okay. Steam engine. These are all interesting. We want an offshore pump. There's a lot of new things immediately. Oh, I can make a pistol. I should probably do that real quick. Pistol and magazine. Oh, I already have that. I'm an idiot. Or maybe it immediately- did it- did it- Well, that was an, that was a mistake on my part. Let's put it back. No, that's not how that works. I just created a stick on accident instead. Boiler... Pipe on the ground. There's a lot of new things here. Offshore pump. Okay. I built an offshore pump. It involved the circuits and other things like that. Okay. Connected to boilers on a water ground transition. Right there? Is that what I'm going for? Water is flowing into the steam engine, but it is too cold to produce any electricity. Oh no! Oh, because these things don't have fuel right now. That's the current problem. Oops, why did I put that in the chest? Don't mind me. There we go. Good, the steam engine is now producing electricity. The steam engine's efficiency is highest when it gets water at 100 degrees. 
there are more ways to build steam engines like this. It's a series, it's a, I think it looks like that's a series of pumps leading into a series of engines, which are also attached to electrical wires. Or this. What's the side? Is, so the, the boilers must be heating it up, but the side tube just transfers it, transfers it, I assume, to the side. Here we go. Connect the electric mining drill to the steam engine using small electric poles. So these things require power? Yeah, they do. Oop. It's getting dark. I should build lamps. Oh, wait, there's a day, there's a day night cycle. Interesting. Electric poles. We need wood. I got you. There we go. That'll give me some starters. Alright, we have some electric poles now. Connect the electric mining drill to the steam engine. So first of all... There it is, that is the electric mining drill. Do I put it on you? Or just within your... It looks like I just need to put it within your radius. Yep. And then we also need some power over here, it looks like. Ow! Shit. Leave me alone. Nature, why? In order to build radars, you need to gather some iron plates and copper plates first. Use electric mining drill to mine the resources. It is much faster than the, burning, the burner mining drill. Alright. Keep a steady flow of coal going into your boilers, otherwise you will run out of electricity. So now we're powering things with electricity instead of coal, but the actual... The actual device that, uh, gets the, that gets the power in this alternate fashion itself requires coal. Go figure. Let's see. So it wouldn't be a crazy idea just to start delivering it directly into that. Let's see, I wonder if I can create a circle. That'd be interesting, right? To put one here. And warp that around. Now it's going in a circle. Yay! First of all, uh... Lamps. Ejection pole. Boiler. There's a lamp. Let's go ahead and make some of that so I can see around here. Especially since there's nasties, there's nasties about. There we go. Look at this. That's actually really bright. It doesn't even look like it's nighttime around here at all. Okay. So now what I can do is I can stick an arm going towards the arm. Oh, but you guys require power too. Alright, th I can work with that. Let's create a ridiculous system of self-perpetuating power. Oh no! Oh, the location's bad. Oh, and I can't build it over here because- oh wow, there's no, there's no spot that'll combine all of them. So I have to be, like, super inefficient with my power usage, apparently. Alright, I'll accept that, because I, I may have made a mistake anyway. Oh? But now they can't reach any of these things because they're in the opposite direction? Is that what's going on here? Huh. So they can only grab from the local side, right? And now the inside ring is full. So I've made a mistake, is what's happened here. Interesting. Did not plan on this. Huh. I guess I could just eliminate one side. And now it has an endpoint. But it's still on the wrong side right now. So if I do- get rid of these real quick. Get rid of you. Alright, this is not ideal, but I, I'm pretty sure I can fix this still if I just go around here. Yeah. Except now that's in the way. God damn it. I can make this work in some capacity, damn it. Are you guys not grabbing anything? That's because of the power now, right? Let's see. Ow, dick. Let's see, is that, is that gonna make you happy now? Of course, you have- you don't have power now, so that was- that was another mistake. 
Alright. This is a nightmare of electrical pulls. But hopefully I can do better in the future. What's good? So you, 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 you gonna grab anything, buddy? I may be overemphasizing the specific element of what's going on here. Oh no, it's picking things up now. Is it because this specific boiler is overfilled? No. I don't currently know why it's not grabbing things, actually. Huh. There must be some element I don't understand here. Either way, I could put a box here so it can keep working, at least. Or maybe that's unnecessary, actually. Since this is probably a good place to condense the coal. Yeah, let's not let's not overbuild there. Let let them use the one stack at a time. Anyway, uh, we want to work. We want to make iron, right? This is my iron. I've overfocused on the nonsense happening over there. So we're gonna want to make these inserters. Okay. Let's take a look at the electrical grid. Demand satisfaction is currently filled. Good. So I'm gonna want to make poles that reach outward, right? That's the furthest they go. Okay, because we're going to want to head over here to start working on this. Could start with stone furnaces, or I could move on to the next thing up and just skip ahead. Let's see, so that's the mining drill. So... Burner mining drill, electric mining drill, we have a few of these already. They're pretty big areas covered, too. So I can put one here, for example, and one here. It's probably a bit more- yeah, that's probably a better spot right there. That'll cover most of it. Then just throw in some shapes. There's a start. Now we just need the power. Easier said than done, perhaps. We can make one pull. After that, we need more... We need copper cable. To make copper cable, we need copper plate. To make copper plate, I think I might have to manually mine some copper. Th this pistol won't be enough to hold them. I should make a submachine gun. You can make an SMG. Do I currently have that ability, or do I need to research it or something? Oh god. Not friendly, are they? Where's the pistol? Pistol's here, SMG's here, copper... All right, I, yeah, I can make everything there. Just need to gather some of those resources first. Let's see, can I make the poles yet? Copper cable... Requires plates. Oh right, I need a furnace in the first place. Because we haven't even built one yet. We'll just get that started real quick. I do need to learn the uh, quick cancel. Just so I can move on when I get stuck with the, uh... What am I trying to call it? Uh, when I'm, when I'm, uh... Placing something and then I don't want to, don't want to place it anymore. Cancel doesn't seem to stop it. And escape doesn't seem to stop it either. Let's see. There's a few plates here. But I need more copper to continue, basically. And we'll, we'll set up a proper mining system over here soon. I'm just trying to spread the power over here for the, uh... I guess I, sh I should probably prioritize the copper to some extent, because I need that to even build the wiring. Here you go, buddy. That's the furthest I can make it is right here. Good. Ah, Not quite, huh? We tried. Alright, that's at least one. We've got some more plates to work with here. We can continue with our poles now. What do we need for another, uh... Where's the drill? Electric mining drill. You know what, I'm probably not gonna use both of these right away. So grab you, and put you off in this direction next. And we can try to do that thing where we combine the two tracks. Be a decent approach to make here. Let's try learning how to do that. Alright, we need to mine you. There we go. So that should combine these two tracks together, but they'll be separate. 
And there are two sides. I just need to make the power spread over here. Hey, got it with one more pull. That's handy. And now they're going to happen on two sides of the same track. There we go. I just need to figure out how I want to deal with that particular component. Alright, so now we can start uh, amassing our resources. Let's see. It's a decent spot for now. Do I have your stuff? Cool. Let's go ahead and grab you. We're just going to move you down over here for now. Oh shit. I should have built that- I haven't built that SMG yet. No, I don't want to die. Alright, we need to hurry. Because that's becoming a problem. Cool. Alright. And we got a- we should have a ton of, uh... Resources we can grab over here. I didn't click on it correctly. There we go. Are you still running properly? Performance is going a little low because of the water temperature. You guys still all have your power though, right? Says you do. So it seems like they're getting loaded into properly. Maybe they're not? I mean, I have a ton of resources to just pump in there if I want to. So is there some reason why these aren't running properly? I must- do I- maybe I need more boilers. Interesting. We'll figure this out. First of all, let's get you guys working. Oops. Fuel. Fuel. Do you guys need fuel? Now I can't click on you. What's going on there? I click on you, I get resources. I click on you, nothing? Oh, right, they're electric. <laughs> I don't need to check how much the- how much they're currently carrying. Alright, so that'll keep them busy for a while, because there's a ton of, uh, resources coming in. And we're using one conveyor belt for both. Which seems handy. More pipes. Boilers. Can I build machine gun turrets? Because that'd be nice. Let's see. Go ahead and grab these new plates we've made. Can I make my SMG now? We need iron and gear wheels. For those, we need more iron plates. So basically, I just need a lot more iron in general. We can- that can be done. Alright. Maybe I should start expanding outward then. Just to keep this process going. And give you your fuel. There you go, sir. Now work for me. Work for me. I needs it. We're almost there. I can build ten of these now. I just need an additional ten iron plates to actually do the original iron plate requirement on top of the gears. We're getting there, and then I'll have my sweet SMG. And then we'll be all set, right? Oops. Got one. Takes eight little ticks to work. And now it is mine. You can equip several weapons. The active one is marked with a green background. You can change active weapons by pressing Q. The weapon to change must have ammo. I won't be able to hold it on my own. I could use a gun turret to defend my base. So now it's, we're, there, we're raising the stakes of things I want to do. See, I, could do, I could use a stash for some of that stuff, really. Oh no. There we go. New gun achieved, but I'm gonna need some additional defenses. So now we have a clear goal. Oh, that just that just requires more iron, too. And probably a better... Uh... The performance is going all over the place. Huh. Maybe I'm over analyzing it. It seems like the available performance is staying full the whole time, so maybe that, maybe that means it's working just fine? And I'm overly worried about something that I don't fully understand yet. Let's try not to worry about that too much. I can go ahead and start working on a way to uh, condense all this stuff. Grab more wood. So far that's something that I need to take care of myself still. There we go. Seems to go a long way though. Alright, so... We'll start with the arms. Of course, they're out of range. The 
frustration is real sometimes. There we go. And now they be now they will be combined. And we will all be happy. There we go, and now I have my super box, where all of the plates can be found. Instead of combining them all. Bunch of copper over here. How are we doing on gun turret? We need a lot more iron, basically, so I should probably just build more of those in general. <laughs> I can't even mine more copper because of the, the pace at which things are continuing right now. Alright, maybe I should just build a whole other arm to just keep things going. Ah, oh, that's still going fast, actually. Alright, gun turret. I can build a couple of these. And then we'll finally be safe, won't we? No, it'll just escalate, I'm sure. So they want me to get a ton of iron to continue. But they're recommending turrets. I wonder if the rotation matters at all, or if it'll just ultimately point at the, at the enemy anyway. Let's put a couple of these out here. And now I'll be safe. But they require... Oh, they require ammo. Interesting. That's a concession I did not consider originally. Let's overproduce a little bit on the ammo. Just to make sure they have what they need. Oh, it's automatically combining my ammo directly into my slot up there. There we go. Put, ha put four clips there. Clip there. Do you require... Okay, so kills, damage dealt, range, shooting speed. No mention of power requirements. Nothing flashing, so I assume it's working correctly. Are you guys getting power? I mean, they're, it says they have coal. So I assume they're working correctly, and this th this little cluster, f this mess over here is doing something. Alright. Nope. Turrets are... Oh, look at that. It's working. Cool. Got a bunch of iron plates. We'll have enough in a moment to continue. Alright. I'm gonna pop down a little furnace over here, just to keep this going. Do I have any arms over here? No? I'll grab a couple of you. I'll need one, two, three inserters to continue this little chain here. One box goes back here. There we go. Now you just need fuel. And now I can produce them even faster, and all I had to do was probably spend more iron than I, than I was trying to get in the first place. Good, I think I have everything to start building radars. A radar scans the surroundings. The more of them you have, the faster you'll be able to locate the shipwreck. They consume a lot of electricity, so make sure your your energy production is sufficient. The enemies might attack your radars. You might want to protect them with gun turrets. Okay. I wonder if I want to produce... I might want to produce even more steam engine or something. Use radars to scan the surrounding territory. Sector scanned, 0 out of 50. Alright. Assembling machine crafts items that require two ingredients. Oh. So you can, pre you can set it up to start doing something for you. Pipe to ground. Iron armor. Hello. Let's m I'll make armor. I assume that goes on my character, right? Yeah. That's handy. That'll keep me alive. And use up all my resources, but that's fine. Yeah, let's go a little further with the copper. But before I do that, I probably want to up my uh, production of power a little bit. In case we get into some trouble. So we'll make a pump. Let's follow let's follow their example. So one pump. They use three boilers. And then the steam engine. Make one of those. I have the resources, thankfully. Don't 100 percent know if I need power or not. But I feel like I might as well just get on top of this. There we go. Here we go. Then ridiculous power set up here. Now I just need fuel. For now, I can manually supply that. I've got a fair little supply here. But I want to try to figure out a way to do it less manually. <laughs> conveyor, conveyor belt, I assume, can't go into water, right? That'd be weird, I feel like. Seems like that doesn't work. Let's see here. I wonder if I can just create an alternate path around here in the most inefficient manner possible. 
What I could do probably is stick one arm over there. One little guy. Hey, buddy. You take... You just grab some coal. Can I not grab the coal if it's moving by still? Maybe if I just move it slightly over? Try this time. There we go. It has time to do it then. Or is it dropping it? Oh, it was consuming them. I was like, where'd it go? My bad. There we go. Try to create a system to fuel it in both directions. I'm immediately not being efficient the way I thought I... The way I was mentioning I would try to be. Because it's just kind of fun to sit here and... Try to build systems and everything. Probably need to go collect some resources back here. How you guys doing? Eight kills. Zero kills. One of them is clearly getting more attacks than the other ones. Oh, it's getting... We're somehow getting copper over here. Is one of you smelting copper over here? Um, oh, that one's grabbing copper somehow. I thought they only grabbed the stuff on their side. Huh. I somehow set, us, set ourselves up to grab copper from the other opposite side. Oh, this one's running out of fuel. Actually, I'm not caring very much either. Well, I'm now drowning in resources, so there's that at least. So our goal is to get a radar. Iron armor. Steam engine. Lamp. I'm missing the radar. Electrical circuit. Wood. Radar. Got tons of currency for the radar. Alright. Oh, it's still building. I heard, the, I heard the finished building sound, and I'm like, where'd it go? Are those lights just flickering? Are we having trouble here? Thought I saw those lights flicker for a second there, as if it had stopped working or something. I can just pop the radar here by the turrets. No need, no need to expand my entire circuitry system. The turrets are, I'm, I'm sure, are going to help in some way. Alright, I now have a bunch of coal going off in this direction where nothing helps, so I should probably work on that. We have one sector being scanned. Oops, wrong way. Alright. Let's build an arm going this way. Which doesn't reach. That's a mistake. Make it actually reach. And now, of course, we're out of range. Of course we are. Alright. Place these better now. And now this just needs power. Oh no. Oh no. Do not kill me. They're dead. Cool. Alright. So is, now, now the issue is that none of them are actually reaching the next one over. Let's see if I can throttle this somehow. Can I tell you to only grab sometimes? Is that even an option? Oh, it's just capped out now, so that, that's one way to stop it, I guess. You're out of ammo. I should craft more of that then. Apparently I have, ton I have so much resources because of my, in my inefficiencies of my behavior that it's not much of a, of, a, of a problem to grab more. This gun doesn't seem to get a lot of action, does it? That has 10 kills, that has 0 kills. Alright, not gonna run out of ammo anytime soon, I guess. 3 out of 50 scanned. So do I just wait around and the mission's gonna complete itself? Might be. More copper over here. Are they all grab- yeah, just that one's grabbing copper. I'm not really sure why. Huh. Did I just establish this as being a copper machine at some point? Like, have I grabbed the copper out of it? I wonder if it's just feeding it because that one had copper in it at some point? Interesting. Interesting. Anyway, are you fueling this thing at all, or is it just running out of fuel? I've created a bit of a predicament, of a predicament here, because uh, these are kind of in a spot where I can't really fuel them properly. Oops, walking into water. Well, I could just grab a ton of coal. 
And just ignore automation for now. And just fix this whole thing right up like this. Fill you up, fill you up, never have to worry about that again. Even though I made a giant conveyor belt, which I kind of ruined. Because I am stupid, apparently. There you go. Don't have to worry about that ever again. You're out of fuel now? I got that too. Got it handled forever. I gotta combine my boxes over there, just like over here. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and create a few turrets, just to be sure that I'm safe. Actually, I could create more radars, is what I could do. How are we doing on power? We should have a ton now, right? Because these are both working at the same time. Yeah, I believe we're good. So let's create some more radars. I'll create one more turret first. <clears throat> and a decent collection of uh, clips to put on it. And then we'll just start... Oop, not boiler. Can I cancel you? I think I just canceled it. I'll build some more radars to just go ahead and uh, complete the objective faster. That seems to be the way to go. Point you up here. I'll go ahead and throw half my clips in there. How you doing? Half my clips in there. With you guys around, I don't have to shoot. How handy is that? I can start popping radars down left and right. Maybe grab a few more electric poles while we're at it. I'm just <laughs> having absurd amounts of resources to carry around now. So I don't think I'm exactly jonesing for more. Put one of you over here where there's just some spare electricity on the grid. I'm trying to keep them over here in the corner because I think this is the bottom boundary of the map. Oh, maybe it's not. Never mind. I thought that area was covered. I just assumed that the, down here was going to be empty black space, but it's, it is not. Oh, I can fit one over here, huh? Alright, why not? So that'll fill in the radar much faster. And if I pop one of you down here, then I can continue to build in this in this direction. And now I've got a whole bunch of radars for faster production of that particular feature. Whoa! Hello. And then we saw how much you could zoom out in this game. That's terrifying. Imagine having one incredibly complicated area to build everything at once. Alright. So how are we doing on the electric grid? Oh, so they do require a lot of power to the point where I'm actually running a little low now, huh? Yeah, they're, they're a little low. Maybe I shouldn't build... Maybe I shouldn't let that many exist then. Is the electricity going to pump back up? 30 kilowatts. Huh. Well, either way, stuff's getting done. That's for sure. Let's see, so this, was it control? There we go, that's how you just add the, the uh, coal to your inventory. So control click, as they said in the tutorial, lets me grab the resources without actually opening it. Which is handy. What do I even want to build right now? I think I'm mostly just waiting, right? You can build a few lamps. But that requires more power. And that could be bad for us in some ways. I don't know if they, do they require much power. 5 kilowatts versus 300 kilowatts. It's nothing compared to the, uh... It's apparently nothing compared to the actual... Oops, not, not close enough. There we go. The lamps don't really require any power compared to the, uh, radars I've been building. We have pipes, copper cables, mining drills, steam engines. I don't know if I want to build anything or just wait at this point. How are the towers doing? They've got their ammo. Oh, he has five kills now, too. Oh, yeah, the enemy uh, aggression is getting more advanced up there. Interesting. You know what, just to be safe... I might as well start uh, investing in the other direction then, right? Because if this is... maybe this is gonna be... I mean, it's probably kind of a tutorial still, so maybe I shouldn't worry. But, uh, I've played plenty of, uh, Blizzard games where... Near the, you play some 30 minute mission where it's like, prepare for all this time, and the bad thing's gonna happen at the end. And then at the end, they, uh, it turned, like, there was no difficulty up to that point, but then the game completely stomps you in the last 30 seconds of that 30 minute cooldown. And you're like, of that 30 minute timer, and you're like, what? Why did you do that to me? I thought you liked me. 
Spoilers, they never liked you. Alright. So a few gun turrets will hopefully secure us in both directions. And then I don't have to worry about if something goes horribly wrong, right? Throw some ammo in there. Wait for some more to get built. Two. One. There we go. I just plop that in there, and now th now we're armed in both directions. I say as if left and right don't exist. There could be sea monsters, and something could spawn over there for all I know. I hope that they'll just aim in whatever direction, though. That is my hope. Are we in range down here? Yep. Alright, and then there was light. This place is all lit up, it's defended, and it's completing the objective over time. And there are all sorts of fun efficiencies going on in the environment. Yay! Hey look, these are actually being gathered at, the, at a speed equivalent to the rate they're being produced at. Primarily because it seems like we're running out of, uh... I think we're running out of copper. Uh, the mining speed says 0.5 for both of them. So I guess that the fact that we're running out of uh, resources under it don't necessarily reduce its progress. Is everything working properly over here? These are both at peak efficiency. I think now we just wait. Or maybe plop down another radar over here. Just to make it go a little faster. Yeah, maybe we will just wait. Alright, here we go. Any second now we'll get our last sector scanned. Don't know if that's the end of the mission or if that'll be something else. Sector scan complete. Small shipwreck located to the southeast. Okay, I wonder if the shipwreck itself... That, is this, that part of this mission? Or is that part of the next mission? It's time to explore that area. To the southeast, they said. So over here... Oh! And the mission's over! Alright, guys. We killed 48 small biters. It's a good thing I actually created a base then. Now it just says finish, instead of next mission. Congratulations, you've finished the tutorial slash demo campaign. As you have the full game, you can either continue playing the New Hope campaign or jump into the free play. Either way, it's advised to go through tips and tricks. We wish you have uh, fun with Factorio and thank you for the support. Alright! So, was it, uh... There's custom scenarios. There's multiplayer. You can start the campaign. So here is new, so this was first steps. Out down here is new hope, I suppose. Which is where you continue working towards various objectives and so on. Okay. So I guess we'll start that next got time. Thanks for watching like always, guys. It's been quite a ride. So first Patreon sponsored me playing, you guys had me play uh, Crash Bandicoot. And then Super Meat Boy. And then... Far Cry 4, and Undertale, and then Antichamber, and now Factorio. Aside from two of them being platformers, they have... This list has nothing to do with anything else on this list so far. I have no idea what you guys are going to have me play in the future. So yeah, see you guys next time. We'll be playing Factorio all month. I do appreciate... I'm totally cool with like some little pieces of advice. Just don't be overly pushy, because... uh. People like to suggest endgame strategies when you're one hour into a game, which is kind of obnoxious, because it's like, hey, let's just, yes, we'll skip the entire learning process. That's cool. See you guys next time.